So there are a few things that have been going on in my mind recently in the past couple hours. Um, for one thing, when you find out that someone you uh, barely knew, rarely associated with, when you find out that that person was shot in the head, you'd be even more sad uh, for that person and the uh, victim's families. But when you find out that the person shot himself in the head, it's sad. It's very sad. Uh, you'd be very sympathetic, but at the same time you'd think, why did he commit suicide? But this isn't the case. I don't know who this person was. I rarely saw him in high school when I went to school several years ago. Because uh, I think he was like a couple years ahead of me or something. I don't know. I don't I haven't been in high school in like two years. I found out that this one guy who I rarely ever saw got shot in the head. Shot himself in the head. At first, I, was, I felt sorry because, oh my god, who shot him in the head? And I found out it was himself. Which made me even more sad. Then I found out he didn't commit suicide, not intentionally anyway. He was high and he decided to play Russian roulette. Normally when somebody shoots himself, it's suicide and you'd be sympathetic that you're sad that that person died. Even if you barely knew the person and, and, and entirely barely knew the person, you only saw him like on rarely on, a, on, a, on an occasion, sorry. When they play Russian roulette, I don't care if you're high or not, Playing something that you know for a fact that you could easily get killed because, you know, there's a bullet in it. That's not something you should do or take lightly. I can understand when people want to take risks, especially when they're on a uh, high-induced drug. Come on. Falling off an aircraft is dangerous, but at the same time, there's so many ways you can prevent yourself from dying. Uh, so many procedures, but when you play Russian roulette, there's a good chance you'll die. And yes, like I said, uh, like, a, like a few seconds ago, that if someone's high, they won't make very intel intelligent decisions, even if, even if they are very intelligent. But still, knowing that you could easily die from something that you could, that will kill you. All I have to say is, if you play Russian roulette, whether high or not, if you're not invulnerable or you can't heal instantly uh, when you do get shot, you're a dumbass, and you probably deserved it. I, I know I'm going to get hate from it. I know I'm going to get hate from anybody who I know who watches this who doesn't agree with me, because they probably won't, but come on. You're a dumbass if you play Russian roulette. That's just a what-the-fuck moment. That's just stupidity right there. You sort of deserve it. Number two. I recently watched uh, uh, Fox News. Well, not Fox, Fox News, but like a, a local thing, station. And they were talking about uh, the whole thing in Libya and other places. And I keep thinking to myself, and uh, my grandmother and my brother was there too. Um, and I keep thinking to myself, what the fuck is going on? Why are these people protesting? I mean, I've been reading some stories. I've been seeing some news and stuff about how the attacks uh, on the uh, U.S. ambassador and everything wasn't because of that, that poorly crappy movie that I don't know the name of. I have only I've only seen the trailer in only a few minutes because... It just sucked so badly I couldn't watch it because of the poor acting and everything. It's a poorly made movie, poor acting, poor lighting, and poor everything, really. Not as bad as The Room, but it's still pretty horrible in uh, acting-wise and stuff. People are dying over this. It's The movie itself is not killing people, of course, but people are overreacting to this shit. It's a crappy movie from a crappy director, crappy acting, crappy dialogue, crappy everything. And people are taking offense because it displays Mohammed as an evil, Jew-killing, murderous, child-molesting rapist. When the Quran clearly states that he is. He, the Quran and many books about him, either written by people who know him or people who researched on him, have this as fact that he did do all these things, that he did kill many Jews and other people, that he did have... Uh, I don't know. I, I think it was few wise. Uh, it, it depends on the version. But uh, the youngest was nine. This shit is in history, and people are getting upset about this. Uh, they made a crappy movie depicting our great, loving, and peaceful Muhammad as definitely evil, child molest rapist. Okay, we'll show them exactly how they say that our religion is not peaceful when our religion is peaceful. Let's go over there and burn the ever seeing, rape and kill that one guy. Yeah, let's do that. Because we're showing them that our religion is so peaceful. Does that make sense? No. Killing someone because somebody displayed your religion as violent, and you say that your religion is peaceful, but killing people because somebody depicted, it, depicted your religion and your prophet as evil, and I have no words. It just doesn't make any sense. You don't see Christians uh, 
beheading anyone or burning down any buildings because an atheist is saying that the crossed uh, the crossed memorial from 9-11 from ground zero and everything should be taken down. No, Islam is the only religion that I can think of that if you want if you insult them, if you insult their religion, if you insult their prophet as saying that they're evil, uh, or you even portray Muhammad in any way. Uh, nationally or anything that can get uh, the most violent people upset and you claim that your religion is peaceful but it's but then you go and kill people and while, that, while doing that you say death to infidels I'm at a loss for words. Number three this whole uh, TLC the learning channel thing where they show shows like uh, Honey Boo Boo and other shows that have nothing to do with learning Honey Boo Boo actually lowers your IQ there's no study on that, at least that not not that I know of. But it lowers it lowered my IQ just by watching a few minutes of it. History Channel showing crap shows like ISO truckers or pawn shops. That's not history. UFOs. That's not history. It's truly entertaining and it's some theories and plausible explanations of certain things maybe. But it's not history. Learning Channel, History Channel, all those other channels, which depict shows that aren't really supposed to be there at all. Stop it, it's fucking annoying. I know that many people like The Amazing Atheist. I said it's, it's lowering my IQ. If I want to lower my IQ, I'll bash my head on a bat. That's much more better than watching those kind of shows. Now, there are other things I could talk about, like this one person, uh, this one, my own friend, messaged me, uh, which sort of got me upset, but not to their message and everything, explaining why uh, certain things are like certain things, but it's... It just got me a little upset. I'm, I'm not really upset anymore. I'm just like slightly, a little. I'm just slightly down. Um, what else? Viruses. Because I had a virus on my computer that was sent to me by Skype. I have a lot of friends on Skype, and they will send me pictures, files, and stuff, pictures or videos of them doing random shit, or uh, their new cats or something like that. But this one person, I can't remember what country, but I know the person. I talked to the person for like a couple years, and we're friends. They said. Uh, they have a new thing of them and their new cat. It was a picture. I said, okay, I'll download it. Download it, open file. It had this weird message. Hit exit, deleted it, uh, emptied my recycle bin. And the next thing I know, like 20 minutes later, my mouse keeps moving all over the place, looking for my Skype to sign out of my Skype. And if I try to close, uh, minus my Skype out, after a few minutes, it'll just keep trying to move back to it, and I'll try to get away from it. Facebook got hacked. Everything's fixed, but now I'm not logging back into Skype because it keeps logging itself out. Literally, the, the mouse goes over to the thing, sign up. But uh, that's all to say about the virus. Is thing. People, I know you want to be dicks and discussing rude people trying to hack into informa people's information and shit, but stop being dicks. Seriously.